Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be looking at a new game called The Last Plague Blight. The Last Plague Blight is an authentic survival experience rooted in realism and immersion. Oh, okay, I like that. Endure the hazards of a brutal open world and uncover the origins of a mysterious disease. You are humanity's final hope in ending the blight. This is obviously a demo. It is on Steam. Let's go ahead and start a new game. So we got uh, oh, so it's just standard and easier. Okay, we'll stick with standard. Um, that's, you know, difficulty. Play style. You start with a map. It shows you... Okay, so more realistic is you start with a map, but it does not show your location. You must use a compass. Yeah, nah. Maybe later on, at some point, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and begin this bad boy. Here we are in the world, and the game's going to give you some kind of, like, uh, generic, you know, baseline tips down here on how to move and everything. Uh, shift will let you sprint. Uh, you could choose to go in the options to change sprint to be toggle, which is what I do. I sprint around everywhere. I kind of play it like Diablo. I kind of sprint around everywhere, and if they like, run out of stamina, I'll deal with it at that point. Uh, you can kind of zoom in. You can zoom out. Uh, alt will show you stuff on the ground. Again, this, actually, this game's got a lot of Diablo in it. Um, alt will show you stuff on the ground. Again, I have it as a toggle. So F will be to swing the camera around. And I'm going to start picking up small stones because I know I'm going to need those. Left mouse button to attack. Uh, I do have my dagger here. We'll put that on number one. I have a hatchet here. Put that on number two. All right. And let's do that. I'm going to come over here and grab some stones. I know I'm going to need a lot of stones. I'm going to need a big stone to get water. I'm going to need some small stones to make a campfire. And there's going to be certain things we're going to be uh, watching out for. Uh, so far, the things in this game that are going to try and kill you are going to be coyotes and the blight. All right. If you drink water uh, straight out of the lakes and stuff, you will start getting the blight uh, infecting you. There will also be areas that will be infected with the blight that you'll see as like little green, a uh, little green mist type thing. And uh, yeah, that's and and I and coyotes. Did I mention coyotes? Yeah, coyotes as well. <laughs> coyotes will obviously four like creature try and bite your head off. You know, no big deal. You can stab them a few times. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal. But the 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 blight you're gonna want to watch out for. I am going to need 10 stone as well. Press tab to look in your inventory. Press M for your map. This is where I am. Uh, the, this is a lake right here. There's supposed to be a lake right here. This is obviously a demo of an early access game, so it's not showing the lake. Bit of a bug there, but there is a lake. I wouldn't set up if I wasn't close to a water source. That's for darn sure. And I need to find some more rocks. Small stone. There we go. Uh, Jay, to bring up your journal, this will get, tell you how to do things. Right now, I'm trying to collect 10 small stones for a campfire. And then we will uh, set up at that point. I don't know if there's... Oh, see, there's the mist right there. They, I'm going to end up calling it the mist, just because I don't know why. But <laughs> it's not the mist, it's the blight. Mist, blight, it's all the same thing. You just got to watch out for it. Stay out of it. Stay away from it. And let's come on over here and look for some more small stones. The stones seem to be a little bit, a little bit on the rare side, but that's okay. We got we got mushrooms, we got long sticks, we've got more sticks up here, twigs, small stone. You'll know when you get enough small stone because it'll go blue blue bing because you'll like complete like a quest thing. Blah, blah, bling. Now I think the I think the blight can grow. So I'm going to kind of maybe build away from it a little bit. I want to kind of build out in the middle of the woods. The problem is I couldn't figure out a way to get rid of tree stumps. So I'm going to assume there's no way to get rid of a tree stump. Or if I if there is, I can't do it just yet. But I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe you need a certain tool later on in the game. You'll be able to get rid of tree stumps. I don't know. But I could not figure out how to do it. Another thing you're going to want is these. Um, you see these dog bane trees right here? That's basically what you're going to need for rope. So you're going to want to grab those as well. Although maybe not... Maybe not priority at this point in the game because you want to get down a campfire. The game says a campfire will keep the um, enemies away. If the enemies are only coyotes, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. But I guess if you get a... F oh, there's more blight over there. I guess if you get a few coyotes coming at you, you know, you could be in a bad spot. So, All right. I guess I'm just going to build a little campfire. Maybe uh, that's not a good spot for one. Maybe over here. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna look around and see if I see any blight. I don't see any blight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that there's no blight in this area. All right, campfire C construction. Wait, it'll probably tell me in here. B fire pit. B fire pit place. There we go. And then I think we just have to 
Yep. Left click and you'll start constructing it. Beautiful. There you go. Now what do you want me to do? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff I can do here. Let's do Hunger and Thirst first. All right, in order to do Hunger and Thirst, I'm going to... I'm going to be trying to make a... I forget what it's called. It's like a... Maybe a... Maybe bowl. Uh, items. Tools. Traps. Um, bowl. There we go, bowl. All right, so we're going to need a hammer for that. Or a small stone. I don't have any more small stones, so let's go get some small stones. And it's basically like you'll use it as a hammer or like a tool. Makes sense. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves the bowl. So the bowl's in items and right there. There we go. And you can press this little thing to speed time up, which is really help. Really, I appreciate that. That you can speed time up like that. Right, there we go. We'll put this is number three. Oh, uh, you can't put that in a... Okay, fair enough. So what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you are going to fill the bowl. Make sure you do not drink out of this stuff, man. I made that mistake and it was a it was a big mistake. Can that hold water in your inventory? No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, I have to get this thing going. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna chop some firewood. And like I said, the game tells you to chop small trees, but honestly, like every tree I've seen in this game, except for one, has been a large tree. So just just chop down the large trees. And it will take a while. Because you got, look at that. That's going to take a while. That's fine. That's fine. So, we got our water situation covered. We've got some sausage. We started the game with some sausage. So, our food is okay right now. We're going to set up some rabbit traps. And I don't know how many rabbit traps. I don't know if you're... Basically, the quest line will tell me to set up some rabbit traps in a bit. You'll see. Uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to set them up close to you, far away from you. I have no idea. Uh, if you look in my journal right now, stockpile firewood, which is what I'm going to do for now... You can chop a log into firewood, place a small charcoal pit. I don't know what that is, but I haven't had any charcoal in this game yet. So we're going to go ahead, and once the tree's down, you continue chopping it. And then you're going to chop it, chop it into logs. Now, once you get it into logs, you're going to pick up the log, and you are going to place it, and then chop it into firewood. Firewood is more efficient than logs. You could put logs right on the fire if you want, but the firewood is more efficient. Put that right there. All right. And get some energy back. That right there is my stamina. Should be pretty good now. Chop into firewood. I, I'm going to have to read about that. That's basic metalworking. So chop a log into some into firewood. Place small charcoal piles. I don't know. Maybe I get charcoal from the, from the fire. I don't know. I didn't notice any charcoal when I was playing. Go pick that up, pick that up. We're a little encumbered, not really a big deal. Put that all in the fuel. And that'll be for four hours. We're gonna want to get enough firewood for eight hours so we can sleep through the night. I don't know what happens if you sleep through the night without your fire going, but the game told me that the <laughs> the fire will keep the animals away, like the hungry animals that'll come and mess with you. So I'm assuming you'll probably wake up in the middle of the night, maybe even get attacked. Uh, so I'm not gonna take that chance. What the hell are you doing? It's done, bro. Pick it up and put it down. Chop it into... What's that negative 10? I don't know what that negative 10 is. It's not my hit points. We also have a, um energy meter. So we're definitely going to have to sleep. So eight pieces of uh, firewood. Pick it up. Eight pieces of firewood will be enough to run this for the night. I'm going to go ahead and get some more. And stockpile some of it like the game's telling me to. Got myself a little stockpile of wood here. Uh, eight pieces of wood in that uh, stockpile. Uh, the way you do a stockpile, I can't really show you right now. But remember when I had the firewood in my hands? If you right click it, it'll say like you could stockpile the wood. Uh, let me go ahead and place my sleeping bag. Uh, can I rotate it? Mm, place. Hold left shift and scroll wheel down... Rotate. Hold left shift and scroll wheel. Okay, there we go. Um, what the hell is wrong with that spot? Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and boil some water. So we're going to go ahead and start the fire now. Ignite. There we go. And then we're going to come down here. We're going to put the bowl in our hands. Anytime you put the bowl in your hands, you need to rearrange things down here. Which is a bit annoying, but what are you going to do? And let's fill up the bowl. 
And then we're gonna put the bowl in here and boil the water. Wait, did it? No, it's in there. Okay, so you see right there, plus 20 water, plus 16 blight. And we're gonna put that right there and boil. And this water can boil away, so when it's done, you want to drink it, you know, sooner rather than later. All right, let's see what we got in our area. Yeah, okay. I'm going to want a very specific thing uh, pretty pretty quickly. And it's going to be a bag, and I don't remember where it is. Or not a bag, but, uh, like, storage. It might be in items. Traps, tools, consumption. Nope. Pots, walls, roof, floors, storage. There we go. All right. So we're going to want uh, 12 sticks, and, or 15 sticks and 10 rope. Like, soon. Uh, sticks. There we go. Stick. Twig's not what I want. Stick is what I want. Long stick is important, but not really of utmost concern at the moment. Stick. Stick. There's the dog bane. We're going to need that for the uh, rope. But I don't want to go too far away because I would like to drink something. And got some sticks over here. Yep, there's a stick right there. Alright. I'm not sure if those mushrooms are good. Maybe you can, like, uh, cook with them. I haven't really messed with the mushrooms yet. We'll kind of see. We'll see how desperate we get for food. And this should be done. Now, let's see. This should be full. Whenever I drink from this, uh, pot, uh, this like, plate, it's never full. And I think that's because I walk away and I don't drink it right away. There we go. Oh, no, no. It's still not full. Okay, fair enough. But we'll drink it all. So, I don't know. Maybe it boils away. Maybe it doesn't. I really honestly couldn't tell you. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to... I don't know if there's a spot that tells you what time it is in the game. But I couldn't find it. And we're going to come over here and we're going to get... Oh, chamomile. That's got to make some good tea, right? Dandelion, dandelion. Dogbane. We need dogbane. We're going to need at least ten of it to make that storage container uh rope is kind of hard to get <laughs> like one dog man is like one rope and like it's i mean it's in some places but it's not like it's all over the place uh blueberry bush yeah sure oh there's blight darn it all right come over here and get the dog i don't know if anything spawns out of the blight um, I haven't seen the only the only like active like thing I saw in the game that would attack me. Oh, more blight! The only active thing I saw in the game that would attack me was uh, the coyotes. Mm -hmm. How much dog bean do I have? Nine. Okay, let's get one more and head back to base. All right, a few more and then head back to base. It's kind of it might be a little risky to be out here. This late, I'm hearing. I, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how late it is, but I'm hearing crickets. But I don't want to get this uh, dog bean. Darn it! I just picked up garlic, didn't I? Oh well. Dog bean. I mean, it's just a lot of it. We're gonna need a lot of it, man. Like it's no joke. Dog bean. This will be the last one. All right. Let's get back to base. And it should be in this general direction. That is correct. Looking good. I'm not going to pick up any... I want, there's a lot of stuff I'm passing by I want to pick up. But I just, you know, until I have the room... Pretty sure I don't have the sticks either. I don't know if you can get sticks from chopping certain trees or whatever, but... Long stick, long stick. How many sticks do I have? Ugh, only nine. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around for some more sticks. Like I said, the game said that, oh, you know, you're going to want to be by a fire during the night. So this probably isn't the best idea. Let's go ahead and save the game. Here we go. Dog bean. Dog bean. And I'm going to come back here. Maybe I find more sticks in the woods. Makes sense, right? Long stick, long stick. I'm not seeing any regular sticks. There should be some regular sticks over here now. Oh, you hear that? That sounds like a wolf. Do coyotes make that sound? Oh, another thing that's cool about this game is when it gets dark, you can't see. You remember how I was seeing all the stuff on the ground, like, way over here? Now, you could barely see anywhere. And the only reason I could see as far as I can is because of the, um, is because of the campfire. So you really can't, like, look around for stuff during the night, unfortunately. 
All right, well, if that's the case, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more drinking. And I think uh, once we're full on thirst and everything, I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. I went ahead and ate all of the berries I picked, also one of the sausages, and now I'm just waiting for the water to boil. And I did go out and get two more sticks, so I think I will be able to make this thing right here, but I have to make the rope first. I'm gonna drink the water first because once I start making the rope, time is gonna pass by very quickly. So I mean, we're gonna have to sleep soon too. I really wish I knew what time of day it was. I mean, I'm wondering if it's somewhere obvious and I'm just missing it. I'm not really sure though. All right, and there's the water. And drink all. You know, I think I might just sleep through the night, make the make the storage in the morning. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I lay down. All right. Uh, you estimated uh, sunrise to be about seven hours. You need to sleep for about eight hours to fully replenish your energy. All right, we need to put some more uh, some more wood on that fire then. One more piece of wood, I think. Hmm, can I just take one? There we go. That was control, by the way. I held down control. Alright, 8 hours and 40 minutes should be good to go. Yep, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Yep, so you look, my little things are beeping off as I, uh, as I do them. The blight continues to spread. I don't like that. Alright, well, it is what it is. And the blight. It's not clear where the blight came from or how it spread so quickly. Your village, whatever that's called, is a wasteland. It doesn't look like any parts of civilization uh, fared any better. You'll need to figure out some of the ways to minimize and eliminate its effects if you have any hope. Okay. Find a clue about potential anti-blight serum. Be on the lookout for clues. You, he you have heard whispers of druids in a far-off land that know how to combat the blight. Where did I hear whispers from? Um, this story from my brain, from my fake friends. The stories talk about healing serums and fantastical elixirs that supposedly cure one's affliction entirely. If these tales are true, then there may be hope for humanity. Uh, you do know that there are a few hermits and oculists. Oculists? O occultists? Occultists, there you go. Oculists. Yeah, Oculists. Um, taking shelter in the secluded wilderness around your village before the blight, blight perhaps they may know about... Uh, okay. So, did it mark it or... Oh, there's my home. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. I don't see them marked. So maybe I just have to find them? Am I on the edge of the map? Yeah, it looks like I am. Okay, fair enough. First things first, let's go ahead and make some rope. Um, items. Yeah, it's got to be in items. There we go. Oh, I had 25? I didn't realize I had so many. Oh, that's right. I was picking up some on the way back. All right. And then you hit this. Although I already hit that last time, so remember, you could hit this to slow it down. But I don't know why you'd want to slow it down. And that will give me well over 10 rope. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves uh, storage. And I guess I'll just, um, I guess I'll just place this right here. I don't know, seems like a pretty good spot. Good a spot as any. I don't know how much it's going to hold, but we're going to check it out. And this is great because my backpack doesn't hold a lot. So I'm assuming you can get better backpacks later too. Anytime you have, anytime you're playing a survival game, you have a backpack, you usually be allowed to make a better one eventually. And there we go. All right, cool. So I will just dump everything in here. Can I shift click, right click? Um, is there a fast way to do this? I'm not seeing a fast way to do this. Darn it. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oof, 13, I don't like that. Hold on to the sausage. There we go. And I think we should boil some more water while we still have the fire going. There's got to be a faster way to do this, though. Looks like I'm under attack. Oh, he's running away because of the fire. That's not a coyote. Oh, it is a coyote. It looked, it looked bigger than a coyote. Uh, I'm just boiling wood. I'm just boiling wood here. I'm also trying to figure out how to do charcoal. Uh, there we go. Properly burned set up logs to be chopped into firewood, picked up by the log, then placed into down by 
So it's up right, left click the mouse, pick up the firewood, open the menu, and then place it down uh, down the small charcoal pile. Okay. Then interact with the log the way you would hatch it in a firewood. Pick up the firewood, open the build menu, then place it down the small charcoal pile. Okay. That, that doesn't seem to make any sense. <laughs> Take the wood and put it in there. How do I make the wood? Do I have to put it down here? Do I have to put the firewood down here? I'm not really sure. Let's concentrate on getting water in the meantime. And then we'll kind of figure that out. I don't think I'm going to go look for the, the occultists today. Because um, I've got some survival things to take care of. Boil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. Or four of these, I guess. And then put one down. No, yeah, see, I can't put it in here. I'm not sure to make charcoal. I'm going to figure it out, I guess. Uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, that's plenty. We're going to save this. And don't forget, you want eight hours of, you know... Uh, wood to, to get you through the night, which is basically eight pieces of, of uh, firewood to get you through the night. So that's why I'm kind of dealing with that. Okay, I see how to do the charcoal pile now. Basically, you open the build menu, and then you put in coal, and you can make small charcoal pile or a big charcoal pile. And it all depends on how much, um, I guess, dirt you have. So you use dirt, sticks, and firewood. We're, I don't think we're going to do that right now. But it is good to know how to do that. I think I want to build first. Because one thing I noticed... Oops. <laughs> one thing I noticed is that when you go to sleep, if, if it doesn't rain, your fire stays up. But what if it does rain? So I think what I'm going to do is... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a... Uh, we're going to make ourselves a rabbit trap. So we're going to need some rope. So we're going to need this and this. So one thing of rope. Um... Wonder, uh, yeah, let's find it where it is. There we go. I'm going to find it where it is properly. And then traps. And we need sticks. I wonder if there's an easier way to get sticks. I think I have a long stick. I don't want to chop long sticks into sticks, though. Um, long sticks, long sticks, long sticks. Here's a stick. I mean, I guess I could chop into... Let's see if we could chop the long sticks into regular sticks. Um, start stockpile, build with, craft with. Um, improved throwing spear sticks. There we go. I figured you could do that. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna want long sticks for for building, you know. So I prefer not to chop them. Up. I don't know. Maybe you get some sticks from trees, cutting down trees too. I don't really want to see right now because it takes for freaking ever. But we will at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some blueberries, and then we're gonna stay in the woods since we're looking for sticks. Uh, long stick. There's a regular stick. I'm going to pay attention next time I chop down a tree, though, to see if I get any sticks from it. I would imagine you would. Um, sticks. And more sticks. How many sticks did I need? What was I making? I don't freaking remember. Um, actually, no, really. What was I making? Oh, yeah, the rabbit trap. All right, we got enough. Now, do we want to make it that far away from our base? See, I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense to make it away from your base, or... If, if you don't have to make it away from your base, I'd prefer not to. Because, you know, then I don't have to go that far to get to it. Let's find our base first. Um, oh, a letter. Yep, a little letter is dropped off at my base. We'll read that in a minute. I'm going to put the trap up here, I think. Items, trap, create. Place. It seems like a pretty good spot for a trap. Why not? Now I want to start building a base proper. Okay. So let's go ahead and just take everything we have. Except for the... I'm going to leave the garlic there. I'm not really sure, you know, the heck the garlic's for. But... And now we're going to have to find a place where there's no trees to build. Which would be fine right out here, I guess. Just hope I'm not too close to the blight. Alright, so in order to build, let's take a look. Basic shelter. We need to place four posts. So B, structures, posts, and posts. Alright, one right there. You don't want them to be too far away from each other. If you do too, make them too far away, though, it's not that big of a deal. Because you could just come over here and left all, take them apart, and you get the stick back. So it's nice. I'm going to try and make this actually a little bit bigger. Not too much bigger, but a little bit bigger. 
Take that one as well, please. And we'll place this one maybe like right... Oh, as long as it's green, I think it's within, it's within range. Alright, so about right there. Nope. I'm too far away, I'll bet. So like right there. And then we want it to connect to both of those. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. So what do we do next? Basic shelter. Uh, four support beams connecting them. Okay. So support beams are right here. And we're going to need some rope for that. Plant rope. Wow, it's, it's weird to put in plant rope, but the plant rope didn't actually come up. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, why am I... What am I in inventory? I don't want that. I just want... Cooking smelter. Where was the plant rope? It was in items. And construction. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and make all of it. I don't see any reason not to. I would like to get like maybe two plant rope per combine here. But, you know, maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. It depends on how like quickly that the dog stuff grows back. All right. Post support beams. Place. Uh-oh. Here we go. Stab him. Oh, run away. You're gonna run away, buddy. Oh, God, I clicked off the side of my screen. Oh, man. I got a little excited, clicked off the side of my screen. Okay, well, it is what it is. So, support beams. There we go. And now we need to craft them. And there we go. Cool. Oh, I like the, I like the building this. Oh, am I out of, no, I'm not out of rope. Two and a long stick. Oh, I don't have any long sticks left. Okay. That's fine. I'm sure there's uh, a lot around here. What do I get for these? They see. Oh, I finally got small trees. I found small trees. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Is that thing going to show up on the map? No. So I'm just going to have to kind of know where it is. I will pick up regular sticks, and I think we're going to have to come in the woods to find the, the long sticks. Got me a bunch of long sticks. So, there we go. It's just going to put what I need in there, right? Um, rope. Long stick. Alright, cool. It's weird that sometimes it's asking me to put it in there manually, and other times I have to put it in there, like, you know, automatically. And you. Come on. Alright. What's next? B. Shelters. Shelters. The structures. Yep. Uh, shelter. Roofs. There we go. Okay. Oh, love it. Can I rotate it? Oh, was it rotate? Left shift and scroll wheel. Yeah. Hold left shift and use scroll wheel. Nope. Okay. I guess I can't rotate that. That's fine. It is what it is. Did it go down? I don't see it. Is it actually... Wait, where'd the things go? Um, floor one, floor two. See that floor one, floor two thing? Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to need a lot of rope and a lot of long sticks. Just making a ton of rope. I got everything I need here. So let's go ahead and see if we can finish this thing. Floor two. Um, put that in there. Put that in there. Actually, I got more than I needed, but that's okay. I'll take it. Is that a rabbit over there? I think it's a rabbit. and I don't, It didn't look like a coyote. Now, this is going to be nice because I'm going to put a campfire underneath this and, you know, it will make it so the rain won't put out the campfire. It hasn't rained yet, but the game warned me about rain, so, and it's telling me to build this thing, so that is awesome. All right, what's next on the basic shelter? Place and construct. Okay, so place and construct a leaf roof. Leaf roof. Sounds good to me. Um, structure, shelter, roof, leaves. Okay, I just need to get some of those. There we go. 
And floor two. We are on floor two. Uh, we still need some more rope. Man, we still need some more rope. My goodness. Thought I had enough rope. I actually got extra rope and it still wasn't enough. Now we just need to get some of the... Some of the roof stuff, like the leaf stuff. I've seen it around here. Um, oh, clay. I'm gonna have to get some clay at some point. Long sticks, pine cone, rabbit snare. Let's see if our rabbit snare got anything. Uh, pick up. Okay, so it just told me to pick it up. But I guess that I didn't get anything from it. There you go. Alright, let's see if we can find some of this. Um, is it Pine Branch? I think it, yeah, it's Pine Branch. And I think I'm going to need four of these. Nope, nope, nope. Pine Branch, Pine Branch. Get the Pine Branch. Pick up the Pine Branch, please. Thank you very much. Let's see if that's everything we need for this. Floor two. The ropes. Oh, 30 pine branch. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I got some work to do. When you want to get these pine branches, I noticed that these small trees seem to be your best bet. So I've just been cutting down small trees over here. And I did cut down one large tree. And honestly, I feel like I got the same amount of branches from the large trees I did from the small trees. And the small trees are way, way quicker. And there we go. Building a roof. It's going to be so nice that the roof's not seen, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see what's going on below it. Because you can't come down on a, on a camera angle that'll allow you to see underneath. So you got to get rid of the, the roof, you know, as far as looks goes, to be able to see what's going on below. And there we go. And I believe I should be able to put some fires down here now. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put myself a fire in here. And probably sleep in here as well. That should be pretty good. There we go. And the other the other base I was setting up, that was never going to be a permanent base. This is going to be my, my permanent base. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Steamfest ends probably today. So I might not be able to play this again after today. But we'll see. If I can, I will. If I can, I won't. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, pick up. And pick this up. Uh, it's got to go right there. And we are going to be slow walking this over here, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's a good looking beginning of a base. No joke. And I will keep the... I'll keep the firewood outside, by the way. This is how I did the firewood pile. Right click, start stockpile. And... I think that should be pretty good. And then I'll put my, my bag down. Please. And like this. Yeah, it's not bad. That is not bad at all. There's a way to get dirt as well. I don't remember how to do it. I think you're just supposed to right click on the dirt. Yeah, collect dirt. Left. Let's see how much dirt we get for click. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's a lot of dirt, man. <laughs> that's a lot of freaking dirt. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try the charcoal pile. Just because. Let's try it. Um, actually we're going to do this, and then we do this, and we're still going to need, um, 10 sticks total. Okay. I think we could do that today. Let's just, we'll do that, we'll do that today, because I want to. Alright, let's get some regular sticks. I got everything I need for this. Now, I don't know if this charcoal pile has to be under the roof. Uh, I'm going to put it under the roof if I can, because I'd imagine if it rained, it's going to, you know, put, it's going to, I don't know, mess it up. Um, charcoal pile. Alright. And then let's go ahead and do the stockpile. And let's see what we can do with this charcoal. Let's take apart or build. I guess we're going to build. See, I don't know how this is going to work. Is this, something, is this something I just light on fire and I let it just make its charcoal? I guess the idea is you buried it. Examine. Ignite. Produces. Okay. <laughs> Time remaining. Wow, is that like four hours in like... No, because that's um, that's going down faster than a minute. It's going to take a while, though. It is definitely going to take a while. Okay, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you're not enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. <laughs>